and altitude, and I needed a way to stage uh, the booster motor all the way to the top, and I decided to do gap staging, and I needed to figure out if I could successfully do that, and I can let you guys <laughs> Film strip one. No, uh, no, no. It's the, the first one would be R and D at A ten zero down. No promises, but we'll see.
guys want to see it one more time? <laughs> So what you're seeing is clearly not flaming pieces. <laughs> um, what's going on there is just a ball of fire coming through that uh, motor. I can play it again and you can really look. There are, is a tiny piece um, right... You can see kind of halfway through the clip that looks like it might be a tiny flaming piece, but it's the majority of it is just playing. Okay, so here are the still frames of that. You can see in the second to last one what I'm talking about, and kind of the third to last, there's that other little ball of flame there, and that could be a piece of flaming propellant, but mostly what's coming through there is just a jet of flame. Okay, 
so here it is again, but an 18 millimeter. And it's almost a little bit clearer in this that what's coming through there is just a jet of flame. And I know I've said it a million times, but that's kind of the core of what my research was and what I found. So I'm going to keep saying it because that's what I kept finding. <laughs> but there are, there's clearly nothing else coming through there. Okay, this is one of my favorite videos. Yeah. 
erupted, and that was the one that you guys liked with the flaming, or not flaming, just the chunks coming at the camera. <laughs> so uh, there is a consistent pattern of mortar burn through before the flame erupts. Like um, it's consistent, whereas it burns through and it starts to burn, and then there is the eruption. Um, but the pattern, like we saw with the cross, um, that can change depending on size. Uh, what comes through the, the uh, non-gap stage sustainer nozzle at booster burn through? I mean, it's really clear from everything I've shown. A jet of flame is seen consistently. Uh, burning particles, almost none of them. So in gap staging, what comes up the gap stage too? Uh, a small amount of gas and then a huge ball of flame like I showed. Okay, in gap staging, what happens at the vent holes and sustainer motor base? The gas arrives first and exits the vent holes, then a big ball of flame again arrives and stays, and the ball of flame engulfs the motor base, the flame disappears, and a long pause before the sustainer ignites, the barber delay, and the sustainer ignites slowly and lifts off. And that's what I showed two minutes. It's all awesome. Okay. Uh, the limitations that I had was the cutaway sustainers that I showed, obviously are it's not what a real sustainer motor looks like. It's not gonna be open to air like that. So there could be variables there. Um, the cutaway sustainer nozzles were also previously fired motors, so the nozzles could have been damaged or eroded in some way, and that could have affected it. And multiple trials of each of these uh, tests were performed, but I obviously didn't have the resources or time to do hundreds of tests on each of these. So it was limited. This is just related reports, my equipment, my facility. <laughs>
have to burn through the surface area completely. It also has a larger surface area. So I think that's why you get that effect. This is one of these wonderful research results that's completely obvious once you've done all the work to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I apologize for it being a, a bit redundant. No, it's, it's actually really, really nice work. The, uh, you showed the, the one uh, 24 millimeter staging did that lower stage, was that attack? Did that separate or was that a... Oh, you mean in the one that it like blew apart? Yeah. Yeah, it... it oh, did you say was the... Was the, was the lower stage engine, it, did that just... Was that attack? Did that just pop loose or was that a game? Oh, no, no, it just kind of popped loose. Okay. Clearly not enough blue tape. <laughs> yes, well, I mean, you found a limit. You've also found a limit to so what you can do with it. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's another finding from this project. <laughs>